All right, welcome back to the Breakfast Connect show on Africa Business Radio. It's time for us to get into News Express. It's Monday morning, and we're getting into News Express uh, this morning on the show. Of course, uh, brought to you by Business AM, Nigeria's fastest growing uh, financial and business newspaper. And we'll be looking straight uh, uh, into the headlines this morning of Business AM. Uh, we'll be seeing uh, what stories are top in the front page at this time. All right, so um, we have this one here. NLNG's uh, $7 billion strain 7 faces headwinds as uh, as Bonnie Kingdom kicks over local content. We have that one as the very first story on Business AM this morning. And just below that story there, uh, we have COVID-19 pressure Holds Nigeria remittance inflows by jugular. And quickly into the summary section, we have Nigeria's leading transport journalist joins uh, Business AM. Of course, you can find that one on page seven. As to the finance and investment segment, market heads for correction. Uh, we saw how uh, the market uh, went, the, the position that it took last week. And you can catch that one on page 10. Seplat's numbers see the chill. That one's on energy, power, and renewable section. And over to the insurance and business section segment now of the paper we have insurance brokers in digital era you can also pick up stories from the transport business and commodities and agriculture on pages 28 and 24 and i've got publisher business am philippe sapa joining me for conversations this morning uh, good morning mr philippe it's great to have you on the show good morning rachel thanks for having me thank you for joining us how was your weekend well a fantastic weekend you had a rush of activities coming from the central bank mm. uh, uh, you, you get five you get five naira if you bring a one dollar. You hmm. see, hmm. Uh, people are already talking about that, and wow. uh, uh, we, we're wondering. There's a lot, a lot to say about that. Right. All right. I'd like for us to focus our attention now on on the um, story on page four about the suspension of SIM registration and the resultant effect it has had on total active internet subscribers. We saw a one. 0.95% dip. But Mr. Philip, that is not even the case now. I tell you, right now, some individuals have had to go on with regular activities without the internet, without SIM cards either, because maybe it was stolen or it was blocked and they cannot really retrieve them or new users cannot, you know, jump in and get new SIM cards and all of that and get on board. And yes, the NCC, they've come out to say that this directive to suspend the registration of new SIM cards was to embark on uh, another audit of the subscriber registration database. But this was in December. We're already into March, you know. Any idea how much longer before it gets back to normal? Yeah, it, it, it's, it will be difficult to tell at the moment. Uh, recall that uh, uh, there, were, there were a number of issues. You had the security issues, the the banditry, the the terrorism that was going, I mean, going on up north and across mm. uh, a kidnapping that kidnappings that were going on in different parts of the country. That was primarily the, the reason. Recall that MTN was sanctioned uh, some years ago. You know that huge amount of money that uh, MTN was asked to pay because of its uh, uh, SIM registration not being uh, not. Uh, capturing uh, certain uh, 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 details, mm. you know, uh, and issuing SIM, uh, SIM cards that were not uh, actually registered. You know, all of that has uh, you know, have been building up uh, with these security issues going on across the country, you know. And then, and then you had the issue of fraud, you know, that was uh, coming on through. Uh, you, you, you must have been following what was been going on in uh, on, on social media about uh, someone talking about wire wire. Mm. You know mm. uh, how how they are able to to retrieve uh, or to to steal money from from people's accounts uh, by just using SIM cards. You mm. know, and, and all of that uh, played up to 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 the whole issue of uh, this this suspension. No, now federal government wanted to do an audit of uh, the the current situation. You know. And then to see what is it, uh, what uh, SIM cards, uh, sorry, the, the uh, MNOs, you know, had on their books. Right. And then they had, and then you tie that up. Uh, they came up with the issue of uh, tying that up with a uh, 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 registration for 
national identity card number, you know, and the whole thing just uh, created a whole ruckus, you know, across the economy and across the, 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 the nation, you mm-hmm. know. So how long will that continue? Again, it's it's, it's the lack of t- uh, uh, tidiness, you know, uh, what you would call tidiness in in in, in the in the in the way policies are formulated, uh, formulated and how they, they, they implement those policies, you know. We ha- this has dragged on now. We're in March. You probably go to May, uh, 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 sorry, April, May, and then and no, nothing uh, seemed to be to, to, to happen. Mm. And, um, but, but that's having a whole lot of effect on both, like we've seen in terms of uh, of uh, uh, the, the, what's it called, the, the numbers uh, 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 Mobile active, operators, numbers, um, subscribers. Uh, you know, uh, uh, yes, active subscribers and and, and the, the rest of, of of it, and then a, a whole lot of people who 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 uh, have lost their SIM cards and they just want to uh, to get back on on, on on the system. You know, uh, by and then they are, they are, they are asked not that that will not be be possible. You know, so it, it, these are things that they ought to take into consideration, and then. And then have policies that are that have definitive uh, purposes, you know, that have definitive direction and have definitive goals. Mm-hmm. Where are they going with this? You know, and uh, you see numbers are dropping. You know. Uh, uh, all right, so um, let's move over to page 11. Now, I still have this interesting headline here. Uh, investors, bearish, as CBN moves to phase out foreign players from automobiles market. Uh, the Naira edged against the dollar by two Naira uh, week on week in the street market, but it sort of wobbled at the iron E window uh, at the end of last week. And... This week, system liquidity expected to be raised with CBN's over maturities worth 50 billion naira. What more can you tell us? Well, what is there been investors bearish, you know, uh, CBN talking about uh, phasing out? Recall, recall, uh, Rachel, that mm. uh, some time ago, was it last year, the CBN excluded uh, domestic uh, uh, players from, from treasury bills trading, mm. you know, and, and, and that cost a whole lot of rockers in the market, you know, because you now had a, a, a situation where interest rates went almost negative, mm-hmm. you know, uh, went down. And, and that was one of the reasons uh, w- responsible for the, the capital market uh, getting uh, some uptick. In, I mean, the, the rally uh, last year on the capital market was as a result of people, investors looking for the new windows to put their money. You re- recall that uh, once interest rates uh, went really, really low uh, in, in the in the in the what they call it, the treasury bills market, mm. you know, uh, uh, in the money market generally, uh, uh, people needed to look for alternative windows, and and the, the stock market provided uh, uh, an avenue for that. And you saw the stock market registering uh, the, 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 the 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 I mean, last year was uh, uh, judged as the best, uh, I think, in the world, if if, if not in uh, now uh, at least in Africa if not the world, mm. you know, and, and that was as a result of that. Now, we are hearing, I mean, I mean it's just snippets of information coming out and, and saying that uh, foreign players will be excluded from automobiles market. Mm-hmm. And then investors, obviously, when once information goes out like this, you know, you find investors will, 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 will take a position, you know, on the basis of the information that they are getting, you know. So if they are bearish, you know, it, it means that they are holding back, you know, they are not bullish about the market, uh, you know, because they don't know what might happen, you know. Uh, we, we, we look across the, dif- uh, the different segment of the uh, fixed income and money markets, we've seen Naira uh, edging low uh, to, uh, by two Naira week on week. In the, in the on, on the street, you know, uh, uh, it wobbled in uh, the uh, invest, uh, importers and exporters window, mm. you know, and then you you have a situation where, where uh, CBN is likely to uh, to call in uh, 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 the matured the uh, bills, uh, home bills that uh, uh, are worth about fifty billion. So you expect the market, you know, to 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 respond to that, you know, to be there will be some activities, you know. So liquidity, if if fifty billion uh, naira is entering the market right. this week, you know, uh, 
uh, then you have uh, some some activities that will, will take place as a result of that. Okay, Mr. Philip, but readers can also turn their attention to uh, the insurance sector on page 14. I found that one really interesting, the relevance of brokers' role in a digital era. Uh, we'll have to draw the curtain at this point. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. We'll get back to you on Friday for uh, more conversation on developing stories this week, Mr. Philip. Yeah, thank you, Rachel. Have a a great day. You too. You too. Bye. Uh, That was Philip Isapa, the publisher of Business AM Nigeria's fastest growing financial and business newspaper.